Hey, this is Nate Mill. In this video, I'll show you how to root the Kindle Fire. This will work for any firmware version, including the new 6.2.1. So let's get into it. So the first step is to plug your Kindle Fire into your computer via the USB cable. Go ahead and dis disconnect that. Then click up in the notification bar, hit more device and you want to turn on this option that says allow installation of applications from unknown sources when you get this warning hit OK and then you can go back to home and do the rest on your computer the next step is to download the android.zip file that will be linked below in the video description it will look something like this Go ahead and use the direct download link here. When that's finished downloading, you want to right click on it, extract all, and go ahead and delete everything except for after the users and whatever your username is for your computer. Just like that. And then you're going to want to put a period before the Android. So it should say C users and then your computer's username and then period Android. Okay, then hit extract. Now if you go down to start and then your user folder should be right here. Click on that. You should see dot Android just like that. Okay, the next step, we're going to install the driver for the Kindle Fire. So go and right click on Computer, Manage, Device Manager. You should see under Other Devices your Kindle. Go ahead and right click on that. Up update Driver Software. Browse my computer for driver software. Let me pick from a list of device drivers on my computer and just hit next. Then have disk. Okay, then hit browse. Okay, we're then going to navigate to your user folder and then the .android folder that we extracted and then in there you'll see a folder named driver double click on it and then hit open and then OK here you should see Android Composite ADB interface hit next hit install this driver software anyways Okay, when it's finished and it says it's successful, press close. You should now see up here Android Phone and it says Android Composite ADB Interface. That's your Kindle. Go ahead and close out of that. The next thing we need to do is set up ADB. So download the file in the video description called kindleadb.zip. Once you download that, right click it, extract all. We want to extract it to the root of the C drive. So delete everything between Kindle ADB and C. So it looks just like that. Hit extract. Alright, now if you navigate to your C drive, you should see it right there. Kindle ADB. I'll have these files in it. Okay, next you're going to hit start. In the search bar here, type CMD. If you're on XP, click run and then type CMD. Then type CD space C colon backslash K 
Kindle, and you can just hit Tab to autofill the rest. Enter. And then let's type ADB devices just to make sure your Kindle drivers are all connected properly. And there you go, list of devices attached. This is my Kindle. If yours isn't there, uh, you might have had a problem installing the driver. I'd recommend rebooting your computer and trying ADB devices again, and if it's still not there, reinstall the drivers. Alright, then you can minimize the console. We'll come back to that later. Go to the link in the video description, which will take us to Burrito Root, Kindle Fire Edition 1.0. Big thanks to JCase for making this root. Um, if you want to donate to him, you can find information about that here by his donation app here in the market. Okay, so you'll need to download these two files, this APK and this superuser.zip. I have those both here. First thing you'll need to do is open up the superuser.zip, copy the two files in it, then navigate to your computer, C drive, the Kindle ADB folder we just put there and paste it in there. Alright. Then you want to mount your Kindle to your computer as a disk drive. Just unplug it, plug it back in, and it should do that automatically. You're going to put the Kindle Root Roots Wiki APK on the SD card or the internal storage. And you're going to eject the Kindle. And you'll do the next part on your Kindle Fire. Alright, for this next part, you'll need a File Explorer app. Here I have um, Root Explorer. Anyone from the market will work. Navigate to wherever you save that APK. Mine's on the SD card, Kindle root roots wiki.apk. And you're going to hit install. Install again. It says application installed. I'm just going to hit open. And it says disclaimer. Go ahead and read that. And hit agree. Okay, now what? Um, what do you want to do? I'm going to hit root. Okay, and you do the rest on your computer. Leave it at that with it plugged in, and I'll show you what to do. Alright, you'll then want to pull up your console and pull up the guide. So you'll need to run these commands. First, let's type ADB devices again. Make sure our Kindle's still attached with it, which it is. So I'm going to type the first command here, adb root. adb remount. I'm going to copy the next ones. Right click up here, edit, paste. Notice it says success here. Alright, after that last command, your Kindle will reboot and you should have full root access. When your Kindle reboots, you should see you have the super user app there. I installed the root check. I'll have a link for that in the video description and you can install it just the way we installed the other APK to check your root. There we go. Congratulations, you had root access. Again, big thank you to JCase at Team and IRC on Twitter.